What's good YouTube? It's your boy Razorback back yet again here with another amazing video and ladies and gentlemen I am back. I know you guys enjoyed me doing the Easter eggs and doing all the solo guides and everything But unfortunately Activision bugged out and eventually removed all the Easter eggs about 10 weeks ago Luckily they brought back the Rebirth Island Easter egg, but just the Rebirth Island Easter egg I kept procrastinating pushing this guide off and then karma struck and I couldn't even do the Easter egg and do any of the Easter egg guides And so I promised that whenever I was given the opportunity and given the chance again that I would put out this video as soon as possible In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to solo the entire Rebirth Island Easter egg This way you guys can get it on your own and also help other people get it if they need help if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. Without further ado, let's hop right into the video. To start this easter egg off, you need to find a briefcase that spawns all around the map. It has a different spawn location every match, so don't expect it to be in a set location every time. The briefcase spawns in one of 13 locations every match. Here's a guide I've made for all the briefcase locations. All of these spots are outside except for E. E is the only spot that is inside of a building. The rest of them are outside and can be seen if floating or in a helicopter. The strategy I use is to go to the E location during pregame since it is the only inside location. If you didn't know, you can look at the briefcase when the countdown timer hits zero and if you're at one of the locations when the countdown timer hits zero, the case will spawn in front of you. E is located on the bottom floor of the red roof building over by Nova 6 factory right next to where the gondola stops at, at the bottom just wait here and sit and if there's no case when the countdown timer hits zero you know that this isn't on location however if the case does spawn in front of you you now know where the case is and that makes the job a lot easier if the briefcase is not at E grab a helicopter and fly a helicopter around the other 12 spots you will be able to see these but you have to be kind of somewhat lower to the ground but you can't be all the way up in the sky at maximum height, so just fly a helicopter around through the other 12 spots and you'll be able to see where the briefcase is. Now that you've found the briefcase, now comes the hard part. Inside the briefcase will be three pictures. There are 26 different pictures, but there will only be three a game. On the pictures will be a photo of a location around Rebirth Island that you need to go to to get part of the code. I will show you all 26 locations of all the pictures. Here's a screenshot I put together of all 26 of the pictures that you'll find in the briefcase. If you want to stop the video and pause it right here so you can get an idea of what pictures you'll be looking for, go ahead and do that. Number one is called Satellite. It's located at the bottom level of security area. Go to the building with the satellite dish and look under the stairs and you'll see the numbers right there. Number two is called Wood. Go to the building down in security area that has the wood on top of the roof. You're gonna go inside and look under the table inside for the numbers. Number three is called bookshelf. Go to the big building down in living quarters, go up the stairs and into the room over in this corner. And you're gonna look in the bookshelf at the bottom left hand corner for the numbers. Number four is called bed. You're gonna to go to the yellow house over in living quarters and you're gonna to go to the very bottom floor you're gonna make your way into the room with the one bed. You're gonna hop on top of the boxes in the corner, close the door, and look at the code on top of the bookshelf. Number five is called Fallen. Reason being is because these codes are on the air conditioning on the side of the building. Now you can't see it from here, and usually the only way you can do it is from falling from the sky after redeploying. A cheesy way to do it on your own is you go to the edge, you look straight, and you have to be quick with it. You have to jump off and deploy your parachute really quick and look at the numbers as you're falling down. Number six is called Bulletin. You head to the building down next to Nova 6 Factory. Head all the way into this room with the bulletin board. Stand on the green cabinet and look for the code down there. Number seven is called TV. Now pay attention to where I go. You're going to go to the road over by Nova 6 Factory in the middle of the open. You're going to go right here, you're going to hop down, and go through the hole in the ground. Then go all the way to the back of the room, and look at the TV for the codes right here. Number eight is called Blue. You're going to go to the docks over by construction site, and look for the wooden crates and the blue barrels. You're going to stand on top of the wooden crates, and look behind this pole for this code. 
Number nine is called construction. You're going to head to the top building at construction site. Head inside and look for the orange mixer. Look behind and you'll see the numbers back behind the mixer. Number 10 is called stairs. You're going to head to the south side of prison all the way at the bottom. You're going to go all the way to this little room. And you're going to go to the left, hop on this little spool, and look right here for this code. Number 11 is called tower. Go all the way to the tower located right next to Nova 6 factory, the very tall tower. Climb all the way to the top. Come up to the very top, and you're going to go to the little forwards part. Watch out for the sun glare. You're going to have to step forward and get the code into the shadow to see what it says. And look up, and you'll see the code. Number 12 is called shack. You're going to head to the small shack just north of construction site. You're going to head inside and look. Stand on the table and look behind the little, I don't even know what this is, but just look behind this little box for the code right here. Number 13 is called basement. You're going to head to the little opening over kind of to the left or to the west of prison. It's very hard to miss. You're going to head inside. Go all the way to the back of the room. And then when you get to the back, hop on top of these white things and look to the right on top of this little thing for the code. Number 14 is called lockers. Now this one is very tricky and very hard to get to because you can easily get confused and get lost inside. The easiest way to do is to get to the showers. I'm sure everybody knows how to get to showers. Go up the stairs. Make a right, go up this set of stairs, make a left, and then go right into this room. Now, you got to be really observant and look inside the lockers because some of these numbers are a little dark. And so the code will be in each locker. So there's one number right there, another number right there, and then either another number or a dash on either side. Number 15 is called gondola. You're going to head to the gondola right next to Nova 6 Factory. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the top of Nova 6 factory, went to the gondola as at the bottom. You're going to hop off the roof onto the roof of the gondola. You're going to find the code right here on the roof. Number 16 is called blocked off. You're going to head to the red top red roof building over by Nova 6 factory. Go all the way to the bottom floor. Come into this little corner, this little cubicle. Stand on top of this wooden crate and look down for this code. Number 17 is called BMO. Yes, I said BMO, as in the adorable little character from Adventure Time that we all love. You're going to head to the building over next to the Red Roof building in between Nova 6 Factory and Harbor. You're going to head here, go to the bottom floor, and you're going to go all the way back here and look up and you'll see the code right up here. Number 18 is called Generator. You're going to head to the little building over by Harbor. You're going to come to the little metal crates, find the generator, and come to this crate all the way over here. Going to prone and look through the floor for this code right here. Number 19 is called green. You're going to head to decon zone. You're going to go all the way to the bottom part, and you're going to head to the lower level of decon zone. You're going to hop on top of this little green crate and look down for this code right here. Number 20 is called Terminal. You're going to head to Decon Zone, head to the bottom lower level of Decon Zone, and you're going to head to the top level of Decon Zone. You're going to hop through here, stand on top of this blue barrel, and look on top of the terminals for this code right here. Number 21 is called Upstairs. You're going to head to Chemical 6 Engineering Building and head to the ramp that takes you up to the third floor. You're going to go up this ramp, go up the set of stairs, turn all the way around, and go in this door. Look under the table, and you'll see the code right here. Number 22 is called Pole. You're going to head to Chemical 6 Engineering Building, and you're going to go through the bottom floor. You're going to head up the set of stairs and go all the way to the back of the room, and then look to the right. Go to this pole and look just on the other side of the pole, and you'll see the code. Number 23 is called light. You're going to head to the top part of decon zone. Go through these double doors, or you can also just go through this little 
opening and go to the little panel over here and look behind the TV for this part of the code. Number 24 is called body bags. You're going to head to the little alleyway on the side of chemical engineering and you're going to look for the little kind of tunnel. Head down the tunnel, look for the body bags and there should be a door. You'll see the code on the door. Number 25 is called lab coat. You're going to head over to bioweapons lab and look for the set of stairs. You're going to head up the set of stairs and go to the top. Head through the little opening, look for the lab coat, hop on top of the little bin, and look for the code right here behind the bin. Number 26 is called yellow. You're going to head to bioweapons lab and head to the bottom floor into this little door. And then make a right and look for the little yellow containers. The code is up here on the roof. You're going to want to use something with either a thermal or something that zooms in really well. Because the room can sometimes get a little bit light and it's going to be hard to see the code. So the code will be right here up on top. Now that you know all 26 photo locations, you can finally find your three locations that you got from the briefcase to go find the parts of the code. I will show you how to read the code. I'll show you an example of me doing it in the game to help you better understand how to read the code. So I found the briefcase and my three pictures were Fallen, Generator, and Gondola. So I went to Gondola first and I saw that the code on Gondola was 767 dash. This tells me that this is the beginning of the code and that the numbers after will follow. Next I went to Generator and saw that the code at Generator was dash 43 dash. This tells me that this is the middle of the code and it's supposed to connect the middle and the end together. Finally, I went to Fallen and the code at Fallen was dash 146. This is the end of the code and the final part that you need. Once you have all the pieces put together and you have all eight digits of the code, you can finally head to the bunker and go open it. The entrance for the bunker is located on the first floor of the building over in headquarters. Come into this building and come into the first floor. Just look around and you'll eventually find it. It's over under the stairs. Come to the keypad and access it and start to put in your eight digit code. Get your eight digit code together and put it into the keypad. Once you put your eight digit code into the keypad, the door will open and you can finally go down into the bunker and get all the loot. Inside the bunker, there will always be a self revive kit, a foresight which gives you all the circles, a durable gas mask which gives you 25 seconds instead of the regular 10 seconds from the regular gas mask, and a specialist bonus which gives you all the perks. You will also find four gold crates which give you anywhere from, I found at least 8,000 to at most 20K in there. And you will also get the blueprint, which is on the table. The Red Room is a very beautiful gun, a very beautiful weapon. It has a nice shiny red chrome finish with papers on it. And it just looks very beautiful. But unfortunately, it's for the Milano 821, which is... Honestly, not a really good weapon. It's probably the worst SMG. It has a very low time to kill, very low fire rate. It's just not really good. And so the attachments on it are the agency suppressor, the bruiser grip, the 45 round drum mag, the microflex LED, and the marathon stock. And so, you know, some people want to get this just to say they have it, or some people honestly just try to use the Milano and say that they're good at the game. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to get this gun, try the Easter egg out and get it for yourself and help some friends get it. And I honestly say don't give up on the first try. This Easter egg is definitely going to be hard for sure. This is probably the hardest Easter egg to do. And so don't give up on your first try. Give it about five or ten tries. And if you need help, hit me up on any of my socials. I share them at the end of all my videos. Just hit me up and I'm down to help any of you guys get this blueprint. But I need you guys to try this on your own at first before you hit me up. I should be the last option. Give this Easter egg a try and then hit me up and I'll be down to help you guys out. And so, yeah, if you guys like the video, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications. I'll be trying to upload more frequently. I'm back. I'm sorry I took a long break, but I just ran out of things to do. And so I'm going to get back on my grind and start uploading more. And so without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopping a raven, I bought it this lady again. <laughs> Fly out of fifth in the traffic and litty again. All of my partners is popping, you know that we litty again. All of the phones on college, you know that we litty again. Yeah, I want
see the squad. Yeah, I wanna see the rain. Yeah, I wanna see you up in the stars like she going out of space.